Hi Capricorn and welcome to your October message from Spirit. So this month we've got the planets of Venus and Mars dancing through our new and full moon eclipses in Libra and Aries on the 2nd and 17th. And this is kind of creating a theme of individuation within partnership. And you can kind of explore this dynamic in your own love relationship by learning to communicate communicate clearly with your love interest. So spirit is showing me two mountain goats, you know, which is your sign, and they're at the top of the mountain and you know, kind of resting they're face to face, their horns interlocked, but this is a a, a love connection, um, a romantic connection which is kind of telling me that, um, well, I get the sense that they're celebrating a comp an accomplishment, getting to the top of the mountain. And this feels like you are going to uh, <laughs> meet someone who is very similar to you or similar to yourself, like same goals, same ambitions, same drive. And you guys might be introduced uh, through relatives. Um, it could be taking a class uh, at a work conference, maybe even going to your local grocery store or picking up your dry cleaning. You know, it could be just like everyday stuff that's not very far away from your home. So just it's just to say you don't have to travel the world to find this person. Um, Okay, so that that's if you are 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 looking for love, and if you have a, a a life partner, if you have a special love interest currently in your life, spirit is saying it would be wise to focus on your similarities, your commonalities, your strengths, because when you focus on your differences, that's only going to lead to feeling misunderstood by both parties. And they're also saying there might be some issue around making time for romance. You know, I don't have much time in my life. So you need to ask yourself, are you really too busy to sit and listen to your partner? Um, it might be only five minutes. And that's the kind of thing that makes or breaks relationships. So they're asking you to watch what and how you speak to those you love, they're asking you to communicate clearly. And they're, and what they want you to communicate clearly is your hopes, your wishes, your desires, your dreams for your life and for your dream for the relationship, for the, the two of you together. And then you need to listen to your partner, listen to their hopes and dreams for their life and for your life together because then you guys can climb the mountain together so um i'm just going to leave it on that note this is a little bit of being honest with yourself and not taking that special person for granted that's really the essence here is you're if if you were too busy to take the time for that person, then you're really too busy to be in a relationship. So I'm, you're very smart. I'm confident you're going to figure this out. And uh, you guys have a good one.